demographics are important to me because when I think about investing, I generally try to think of how people are going to behave. So, so when we look at economics and, and forecasting, it's really what are people going to be doing? And when you try and forecast what somebody would be doing, their age is a very interesting variable because you're going to do different things at 20 than you are at 60. So throughout your life, you're going to be making different decisions. And if we can forecast how many 60 year olds we have in the economy versus 20, we'll probably be moving towards a better understanding of the way people are going to spend their money and what they're going to be doing. Probably one of the simplest effects to see is the effect that it has on growth rates. So as you uh, age in your demographics, uh, typically people start retiring at age 65. Um, so as more and more people move over the age of 65, your workforce is naturally trying to fall because people are, are dropping out. Um, now what that has meant is that you're probably going to have slightly slower GDP growth because you have less workers doing things in an economy. Now the historic way to kind of combat slowing growth rates is to cut rates. So if you look in the economies that have the, the, the highest amount of ageing and the, the slowest rate of working age population, what you actually see is they have very low rates and they're conducting very easy policy. So they're essentially trying to grow their way out of an ageing problem. Given I focus more on the macroeconomic side, I, I generally try to put the demographics into the perspective of what that means for interest rates and, and central banks. So the implication that I broadly see coming from this is in those developed markets that have the most ageing, their growth is going to be slower than what it was pre-GFC. Now the response from central banks to that has typically been to lower rates. So my view of this in the longer term is that central banks are probably more likely to keep rates low because they're trying to offset the ageing that's happening in their populations. And a lot of people who are constantly trying to short interest rates are not understanding that since 2011, a big headwind to growth has turned into a tailwind. So it's not necessarily that you see it day to day, but maybe over 10 to 15 years, the effect slowly piles up.